Gemini, this is your channel messages for the 12th of October. We are using natural sunlight right now, so we cannot control it. You want to control God? That's what you want? Okay. Anyways, I am your host, Vanessa Carby, psychic medium, spiritual practitioner, and terror reader. Gemini, I was hearing, um, um, oh shit. Yeah, that's why I'm easy. Easy like Sunday morning. Ah, that's why I'm easy. Yeah, yeah. I'm easy like Sunday morning. I keep getting this. Sunday morning, rain is falling. Something about Sunday. Sunday is the 13th, which is tomorrow. There's something about Sunday, Gemini, okay? Or I'm getting something is easy like Sunday morning, okay? I'm getting the visualization that you want to wake up Sunday morning and have sex early in the morning. Near your windows. This is what I'm getting, but <laughs> it could not be it. We have marriage, okay? So maybe marriage is easy like Sunday morning. Or getting your partner, them easy like Sunday morning. They gave you no stress, no stress, no problems, no expenses, right? We have Gemini. That's why I'm easy. Uh, 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 I'm easy like Sunday morning. Did you get married on a Sunday morning? Or are you getting married on a Sunday morning? Meeting Gemini, I get married and it's easy like a Sunday morning. I'm getting your wife or your husband, them take me getting what you like about your, your, your spouse is that when you tell them for the things, them to question you. It's not that somebody's going to do something ignorantly, Gemini. But me getting you as the type of man where you want your partner to trust you. And me getting your partner does. You will just say, Yeah, um, me will come get you at 2 p.m. And you, the partner will be like, Okay. Me getting somebody don't question you. If you just ask them for the something, I'm just say okay. And then later you'll explain it to them. But I'm getting you like how some I'm getting you marrying somebody. They're easy like so, or you met somebody on a Sunday. We have celebrity. Yeah, I'm getting something about the celebrity. I'm not sure what Lionel Richie. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm not sure what Lionel Richie's zodiac sign is. We have the sun card. Yeah, easy like Sunday morning. Something about Sunday. And we got enemy. Oof. No, the only enemy I know that would be following you on Sunday is the church. Are you getting married on a Sunday in the church? Yeah. Let me tell you this from blood clot. No, since you don't want nice fancy weddings. Because we know that all half of us was fucking outside before we decide that you don't want to tie the knot. Getting freaking in our backyard. If we decide for going to one church and met the blood clot pastor decide for blessing a union in the church on a fucking Sunday morning, you and your partner better make sure say every blood clot Sunday when you go to church. Because you were not church people, but you decide for met the church bless you with marriage. You're you going, you, uh, okay? All right? I make sure you bless the church with the ties too because we are, we, we're tired of opening the church and everybody feeling like God is going to take care of. God cannot take the wheel. God cannot take the, God cannot take TTC and God cannot take Hydra Canada. So, uh, you say you want ceremony in a church. Don't suppose the church is say, oh no, we don't want to know, oh no, oh no, sinners, oh no, go marry a bar, right? Suppose the church is said that to you. So, if you're planning to marry somebody in a church, I'm getting, I hope the church want to marry in a, or the type of church not get married in a, I hope when they become very religious people together. Because you cannot just use the church like that. You cannot do that. And you can't Muslim and marry in a Christian church. Not no go so. And if you don't Muslim, you're not supposed to go on mosque or wherever go get married either. And I saw it go. We not play with religion when it's convenient to you. When you decide to oh, meet one man and the man will help me for turn my life to God. When it's convenient to you, you don't want to bring blood clot, pastor and church and Christ into this. But then after the wedding done, after the ceremony done, you now go back to church. That is that is why you, that is why your relationship is getting because you met the pastor bless the union in the name of God and you're not going to church and you're not you're not a godly man and you're not lead your wife in the right direction you're not lead your wife down the right path you're not setting an example for your wife right that's why your marriage broke up because you bring God into this and you are not a godly person bright future yeah 
So I don't know which church man why you're marrying him in a female church so him can show the congregation as to what a good job he did in the eyes of the Lord's followers. No make no blood clot, man. You use your for hype and no blood clot. Christian people, you hear me tell you? Come and I use big girl for different reasons. Gemini is a queen of wands. So I'm getting this woman. I'm getting the Gemini is a woman. Queen of wands. Somebody could be Leo. This could be your wife. Marriage is a... F oh, so... <laughs> You fuck your Gemini, you fuck your, your dirty blood clot, you. That is why you get, that's why, that is why, that is why you never are supposed to go around and act like you was the blood clot shit. Let me tell you that. Let me fucking tell you that. Me getting you was supposed to marry one beautiful girl. But me getting you too intimidated by the girl or you want the girl to be very, very insecure before you're there with her. So you end up marrying this fire sign woman and me getting you hate her. I'm getting your marriage is so fucked up. I'm getting you so disappointed as to who you marry. You fucker, you good. That, that is what you get when you feel like you're a high value man. High value man, when you keep talking about this high value man, the only thing high value upon them are the blood clot car, the watch, the shoes, and the fucking TV. Ask them how are they actively dealing with the trauma and the oppression, oppression that their parents have forced upon them and how it is that they can healthily relate their masculine energy to their next partner. Ask them blood clot that them can't answer you. But high value, high value where? You think I'm okay, I make blood clot money, a high value man? You got dead one day too, just like me. So if you rich, if you is a rich blood clot man, living a hundred years and I'm a poor, broke, homeless woman, living a hundred years, guess what? Two away I end up in the blood clot dirt. The only difference is your dirt might be in a nicer area. My own might be in a poverty area. We still have got blood clot six feet under and when the worm them done with we, a skeleton will come out from both of us. We're not walking around talking about high value man don't want women who dress this way. High value man don't want women. What the fuck is high value? Why is high value? The only thing that's high value is properties. Assets are the only thing that can be high value. And the only way a man can be high value if he's for sale. Because usually a man and a woman, when they get into relationships, unless they really can pull something positive from the relationship, they don't usually upgrade. They don't grade. Whether they get a baby and know they're a single mom or a single dad, they don't grade. Them perks of being this, this person in society, it goes down. So you're, you're talking about you're a high value man, but you can't find a girl to make you happy though. So, so what is the point of being high value? Your you, you watch high value, your apartment high value, the view where you have high value, but you still can't find a girl as high value. Why? Because you look upon the material things. Material things ain't going to gain nobody's loyalty to you. Cardi B gave offset a blood clot, fridge full of blood clot money. So you, you, you go ahead thinking that you need to be a specific type of girl so you can attract a high value man. You go ahead so telling yourself, you know, but high value men don't want girls with has lashes. He don't, they don't want girls who are ratchet. High value men want girls who don't show them body. Okay, no problem. So the high value man are going to deal with you and I'm going to fuck one girl while I dress the same way him telling off a fuck because he's high value. He has options to do that, sweetie. So I'm getting a marriage is a disappointment. Maybe it was so easy to marry this woman. Yeah, because she knows she was going to be a disappointment. I know you're going to have to get her half of everything. You fuck her, yo. That is, that is what you get when you feel like you're too good. Remember, always remember, sir. You is the man, you're not the woman. Remember that. Sooner you, sooner you know your place in a life, and easier it will go for you. The problem is you want to be a woman. That's the issue. Right? Seven, what, well, night of wands. Or I feel like you deliberately try to make somebody jealous so you run go marry this girl. I don't know if I'm your ex, I'm getting you used to deal with this girl, you left her, then you go back to her and you marry her if I make somebody else jealous. And I'm getting it didn't work. Now you're stuck in a marriage with this woman and the other girl, single and she had dates. And you might, on the forefront, you might say, ha, you see, you're, you're still stuck dating. You're still stuck single. You're just dating and you're, you're trying to get the attention of a man, even though you claim you're a big shot. You're trying to get the attention of a man, you know, to, to support you, you know, but you could have get my attention, but, but you blew your chance and that's why I'm married. Sweetie, the man unhappy. He's not having sex with a woman. I don't even think he's attracted to the woman. I think him know her from a long time. That is why he's emotionally attracted to her. And men, if women keep saying, if women keep saying the statement, maybe you shouldn't date us. 
and you're wondering why every time a woman are telling me that I shouldn't date you is because you're physical because the woman is seeing that you're physically attracted to a woman but you're psychologically attracted to a man that's why you want her to look like a man. That's why you don't want she wear nothing or you don't want she have any type of enhancement upon her because men don't do it either. So you're telling her that you're okay with her being her natural state like a man. Because you're a man. So that's why when women will say to you, you know, and if you don't like it, maybe you shouldn't date us. That's why. Because maybe the woman is trying to make you realize you might have more of an emotional bond with man than you think. Maybe she's helping you to discover what your sexuality is. And we're being honest, we're not being sarcastic. But if you hear a woman say that to you, maybe you shouldn't date me then. Or if she ever said to you, you don't look like you like women. It's because of the energy is not because she feel rejected. She never say you're an asshole. She never say, oh, you're a piece of garbage, you're a piece of shit, and I never date a guy like you. She never said that. She had tell you, maybe you shouldn't date women. Because she, as a woman, I tell you what a woman want. But you, as a man, think that you right. You think you know what a woman want more than a woman know what she want. So that's why the woman I tell you for the one man. Because you obviously don't know a woman. You think about women like a man. Therefore, you might be more emotionally compatible with men, even though you're sexually attracted to a woman. Let us go. Wheel of Fortune. So we have king and queen. Oh, so this is the counterpart here. So what the fuck happened? Come and get in your marry your counter didn't you marry your counterpart? Isn't she the one you said was the best deal for you? What happened? You have a lion and she have a cat. So what the fuck's happening? Me getting you unhappy as fuck. Maybe somebody have too much cat or somebody's trying to domesticate you because you're a lion, you're free. Me getting you get domesticated. Or the woman want you domesticate. I don't know what the fuck this is. All me know is you're unhappy with this woman who I'm guessing you rush go marry. You rush go marry your ex to make somebody jealous. And I'm getting you're expecting your ex for watching your social media. Your ex is on dating sites. Find another that to please. The sun card is the ace of pentacles. And what is this? Enemy is a death card. Bright future is a page of pentacles. The sun card and enemy. Me getting somebody a sneak. Me, is it misoprolol? Ma, me pro, what is the abortion tablet name? Me getting somebody a sneak that in your food. Are you feeling vomity? Are you feel nauseous? Is it mi, misoprolol? Mis, mis, I don't know what is it in, in, in this country. Cause every country, them carry different brain. Me getting something about somebody a secretly give you a tablet. Are them a poison you? Something supposed to make you throw up or something supposed to make you nauseated or overdose. Me getting something about a tablet. No, me don't know if this is what you do to your wife because you want to let your wife get her this tablet for tech. Me getting she never woke up. Or me getting that was the plan. You got married that girl you. you not really like her. You know, you want to divorce her, but you can't divorce her because you marry her for making her ex jealous. Me getting you got you to slip her some tablet for kill her. Or that's what you have been doing. Me getting, me don't know if you think you're pregnant. Me getting, you yeah, wake up with morning sickness. Me getting, cause somebody has slipped your drugs. Yeah, the celebrity card. Somebody has slipped your drugs. No, this could be as bad as somebody's asking you to get rid of a baby, to terminate a pregnancy. They're going to pay for the pregnancy being terminated. Me getting, you had a boy. You terminate the boy pregnancy or something like that. Gemini, I feel like you thought something would be easier Sunday morning, but I don't know if you, you went in head over heels or I don't know if you underestimate how women are. I'm getting it was all fun and games when you were mar when you were proposing to her and seeking your best mate and now you have her and she's in the house and she know your lifestyle and she know you can provide for her and you marry her. I'm um, getting you unhappy and that's not what you want. You want, to, you want divorce. <laughs> You're going to be another fucking statistic. Yeah, me tell you, majority of us are statistics. Because my mother was never married. But me did get married, but me divorced now. And you have to think about it. Would my, married, would, would my marriage last coming from a woman who did not get married? Usually don't. Sometimes we would hope our daughters to find somebody to marry us, even though their fathers did not marry the mother. Sometimes the mother them make sure that the daughter them marry fucked up people. Because your father never proposed to me. I know you meet this man who want to propose to you. Fuck that, right? But at the same 
time. I feel like something was supposed to be easy and maybe I was supposed to cry or be so devastated because somebody remarried me getting they're so unhappy in that marriage with that woman. They're so unhappy. But somebody's going to make it look pretty because they want to rub it in your face. The joke is you're not even watching them social media. I'm getting you out with someone else because you a celebrity, sweetie. That's what that's what the fans said you with those type of dramas and issues. You're a celebrity. You have way more options than you think. I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, bye.